Hi, uh, today we get continue in this session, we get continue, which we stopped uh, by, which is continuing with the LSMW. And uh, uh, once again, we use the LSMW to actually migrate master data or any transaction from a legacy system into a SAP system. So to continue with that, so we've actually created by the recording. So we've done the recording in this step. Then we created here the source structure. Then we went to the objects overview. We get all the information that is needed for the source structure, which is actually the fields that is coming from the recording. Then we've actually populated all the fields in here. Now we just want to maintain the structure relationship, meaning the recording with the, uh, we call the recording CST, CST1, I guess. We're going to maintain the recording with the, with the source structure. So this we call it relationship. So that's why the system actually took us to this step. So we'll just continue with this really quickly. So we'll come here and we'll go to the change mode make sure you're on the change mode and as you can see here the system actually related the recording which is cst1 with the uh, with the source structure so all what you need to do is save it and you go back you have to do nothing and you, now the system took you to the next step here which is field mapping and conversion we do not need to have this field mapping and conversion step at all so all what you need to do is oh you know what let's start to go here so i'll show you what it is so this is very important step, sorry. We, we need this field mapping uh, conversion. So technically, we're gonna map all their stuff from the recording, as you can see here. We're gonna map the information from the recording with the uh, with the structure. So now, this is these are the fields from the recording. We're gonna map it with the with the structure information. So how are we gonna do that? You just make sure you click into the fields, or you can click into the structure, and you click, uh, let me just come here, make, so, make sure that I find it. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna click into the fields right here, and you go to extras, and we're looking for the information here where it says, okay, I'm sorry, I'm in the display mode, which is not a good thing. You have to be in the change mode. So you click into the change mode, and you click into the CST one here, which is your recording. Then you click into extras and say, auto field mapping so you click on auto field mapping and you click yes or okay and the system is going to propose for you the uh, cst meaning the recording with the source field or the source structure field as you can see here i've actually managed to keep if you follow the same steps that i followed earlier you'll have no problem in actually following the same you'll be having the same field information. For example, KOKRS, which is controlling area, is the same thing for the recording, the same thing for, for the source. That's why it's 100% matching. If you want to actually accept the proposal, always you need to say accept proposal. For, in our case, whenever it's 100%, just accept proposal, accept proposal, accept proposal, accept proposal for all the field, accept proposal one by one, accept proposal for all the fields so once you're done from all the fields you say yes okay as you can see here the system now is mapped the recording with the structure with the source structure and you click save then you go back okay the system is going to take you to the next step you need to like completely skip the next step and uh, take you to specify file and you click here you come into the file make sure you're on the change mode you are on the display as of now as you can see here it says display you click here for the change mode and double click into the the legacy data from pc that means the upload file we wanted to bring it from our computer so now the system is going to ask you where is the file okay so it's going to ask you where is the file in your computer but let's stop here for a second okay let's start to prepare the file first let me just start to come here so uh here's the file that we actually kind of get from this is the file that we did the cleansing on making sure the file it has the same columns as in our recording and how do you know the file from recording if you remember we've actually downloaded it we've got this information so we've got this information earlier from the object overview so i'm gonna get this information here uh, i'll come here as well into our upload file i'm gonna just make another column oh okay let me just click escape i want to just I want to just make another column first. Now let me just go get uh, get this information here. It start by control and area in web profit center. You come here, you do control C, then you go to the file. Then you want to actually paste the information, but you want to paste it in the row, not as a column. You want to paste it as a row. So you do right click and you transpose it. You click here, which is transpose it. And as you can see, the first column is going to be control and area, which is good. Second column is cost center. Third column is valid from, valid to, general name, description, 
uh, personal res person responsible, then the department. Uh, okay, so you see here, there will be a problem. So here's the department. I said here the. Okay, let me just make a another column just to make sure that. Okay, here's the file that I, we get from the upload file, but here's the source file that we're supposed to follow. Here's the, the file we're supposed to follow. Control and area is the first one. So here's control and area. That's wonderful. So all the control and area, all the control and area should go in column A. Then the cost center number. Cost center number, all the cost center number it goes in column B. Then the valid from date. All the valid from date is supposed to go from uh, column, column number C, valid 2, column number D. Uh, general name, it goes into column number E. That's wonderful. Description, it goes into uh, uh, column number F, column G, person responsible. And here is the department. Okay, the department. So we do not see where is the department here. So we have to have like one column for the department. So let's just come here. And I'll say here is the department. I'll just I'm gonna skip it here. Okay. So here's the department. I'm just gonna make up department for now. I'll say here department is finance, finance, uh, HR, uh, production, procurement, procurement, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna just make it up make up department for now. But usually you go to the business and tell them, okay, this column H it has to be the department. And after that is the category. So let me just go back here. Let me just try to actually get this information here, making sure that's okay. Then after the department, then we have the category, the category, custom to category, okay, which is one 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 one. And here is the uh, the standard hierarchy area. And as we said earlier, we've talked about Xon one is not going to work. And in our in our configuration, we have HM one. So I'm going to have HM one across the board. And finally, the profit center. We said we're going to have a profit center 7,500, 7,500. At least this is master data, whatever the business wants. In my case, I want to have it 7,500. So if you look here now, oh, so you didn't need this column. You didn't need this, you didn't need this row. You didn't need this row anymore. Let me just try to delete them. So you work with the business. You need to make sure that they have the same information within this arrangement. How do I know this arrangement? Meaning the first column is control and area, the second column is cost centers and so on and so forth. This is based on my, my configuration and my recording. But for now, for now, let's start to actually save this. Okay, and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna save as, I'm gonna save as, uh, I'm gonna save it as, I'll say here, okay. Cost center upload number 12. I want to make sure it is a CS uh, tax delimited or CSV is fine. CSV comma delimited. Okay. That's or I can just go here. I want it to be text tab delimited. Let's say here text tab delimited. Te okay. This is the format text tab delimited. And this is how I want to save it. And I'll just click save. So as you can see here, upload 12. Okay. Cost center upload 12. So let me just scroll this one down, scroll this one down. So now the system is going to ask us where you want to save the information from. I will say get it from my PC. And the system is going to ask where is the file. And I'll go go to my download file, which is this is the file, upload 12. Double click on it. And you just give it any name. I'll say here upload file 12. Just give it any name, any description you want. Upload file 12. And the most important thing here, what is the delimiter? In, our, in my case, I said it's text tab delimiter. So tab means tabulator. So I'll say here text tab, tab delimiter. If it says CSV comma, then it's going to be here. But I said text tab delimiter. And what is the first call? The first row in the in the in the file. The first row is a field name. So that's why I have to actually select this one here. And you click OK. And you save. Then you go back. Okay, once again, if you are wondering how did it get the column, the first column, second column, remember when we came here to the object overview and we came here to the table, then we have like so many fields information right here. These are the fields which I've mentioned, as I told you, this is the field, it was the, the field structure. Okay, the field structure. So am I going to just talk about this anymore because we've done it? Now, uh, after this, we're going to actually assign these files to the source structure, but we're going to see it in a few minutes after this session. So if you've done it, if you follow me so far until this session, that means you really, really just like get the LSMW, how it works, and we're almost there. So I'll see you in the next session, and we're going to continue how we're going to finalize the LSMW. Thank you so much, and I'll see you see you soon.